Hey everybody. I just wanted to do a quick little follow up. It's been a couple years probably since I did uh, a video on these tree hopper tree steps. They're pretty sweet. And I haven't used them a lot. Uh, I want to start using them more to be able to get around the tree more. And also I'm going to try to eliminate um, my whole platform because I think my feet get cold because they're standing on that metal platform. So I'm thinking that this will help. But I just wanted to show you how I put them on. I used this uh, locking uh, OCB buckle that, uh, that Mark sells at, over at Tree Hopper. And uh, I recently saw a video from a guy, I don't wanna put him down, um, and I'm not. He's adamant that you can't use an OCB to uh, put your steps on the tree because he says you can't tighten it down part way and then uh, adjust your steps. Some of us old guys get set in our ways and I won't tell you who that was, but his initials are John Eberhardt. So I just wanted to do this, what I do I put them up on the tree and I just I just slightly cam this over so it's loose but it's holding everything but I can take these then and I can maneuver them around the tree if it's too tight I can always uh, loosen it up a little bit I'll just bring them around the tree I have, I have six steps on this strap and that's probably a pretty good number for this tree, for a tree this big. I can get around this pretty easily. So now all I do, once I have all these steps situated where I want them, then all I have to do is grab my strap. Of course, I'm sitting in my saddle the whole time I'm doing this and tethered off. I just loosen this up, give it a snug, and then jam it over. And you see how tight that is now. As we always like to say in the saddle hunting uh, videos, that's not going anywhere. So that's how you do it. And you can use the OCB buckle. I think they work great. And uh, when I take it off, I just stack them all back up and I use the strap to wrap around all of the steps at one time so they don't rattle. I can just let them all down. They're all in a row. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Hope you liked the video, hope you learned something, and hopefully it's something you guys can use. All right, we'll talk to you later. Here they are all bundled up. You'll uh, probably want to do this when you get home most of the time. That's what I usually do. I don't, I don't mess with this too much in the field. I just stick them in my pack or, or hang the strap of them over my shoulder. And then when I get back home, I'll just stack them up before the next time I go out. This way they can fit anywhere. They don't rattle and they're all set to go when I get up the tree. Just grab them out, just unhook this little device here. This little button keeps this from popping out. So you just, and I, I leave it kind of loose, it's not cammed over hard. It's cammed over just nice and easy. Just release that, un, uncam it, pull it out, and you can uh, go up the tree and just put a soft cam on it when you put it on the tree, just enough to hold it up. If it's too tight, loosen it up a little bit. If it's not tight enough, tighten it up just a little bit. It's infinitely adjustable. And then when it's just sitting on the tree, all you gotta do is grab the steps, as you saw, and swing them around to the different places where you want them. Easy as pie. Good luck, guys.